Hi, I'm Phil Hall for Digital Camera. I've got Mark Thecker with me from Olympus UK to talk through three new pen cameras. So, where should we start? Well, why don't we start with the Mini? We've yep. given them all names now to make it easier to recognise them. There's Mini Light and Pen Standard, we'd call it the classic look, and they're aimed at, at slightly different audiences. But the big thing shared is they all feature the new fast AF system, okay. which at time of launch should be the fastest AF performance of any interchangeable lens camera so and that great. includes the big DSLR cameras. Oh. So on a camera this size, and this is the smallest, the Mini, you've got an AF performance that's as good as a two kilo, two grand SLR oh, and uh, it's all down to a new sensor, new processor and these MSC lenses which are the small light fast lenses that we put for the uh, pen series. So the Mini is definitely aimed at people moving from a compact. You could buy it if you've got an SLR and you could buy it as an alternative camera, but as, as a proposition it's aimed at people who've been used to compacts. And chiefly that's because the layout is very intuitive and very simple. So on the top you'll see there's only shutter release button on off, on off button. And on the back it's a very similar layout to a compact. Big screen, simple dial, not too much to confuse the person who's trading up but it does have the advantage of interchangeable lens. Uh, one thing I will show you is, to make it as small as possible, we've made it without a flash, but there is a flash that ships with it, and that just clips very easily on the top, like that. And it even comes with a bounce feature, so you get some control over your lighting. Now, this is the light model, the EPL3, which is a series of the uh, EPL cameras, which are perceived as intermediary, if you like. Uh, this one, comes with a standard zoom, much as the other one, but at the moment we're showing it with the tele zoom, which is the 40 to 150. Uh, and the big difference when you move up a stage is you get a control dial on the top of the camera, which gives you faster access to the menu systems. You can choose uh, which mode you want to be in a lot more quickly. And the other big change is on the back, there's a flip out screen, and this is something people have become familiar with from a lot of system cameras, which allows you to do uh, macro shots much more easily when you're down at ground level or you can twist it so that it's good if you're using it above your head. Right. Now the EP3 is, as the name would suggest, the third iteration of the classic pen design. Uh, the first thing we've done which was asked for was to put a flash built into the camera. That's something that was missing on the original pen. Um, otherwise it maintains a lot of the classic design aspects. It's really nice to hold, very substantial. All of the manual controls are on the camera, which you've been used to on the original pen. So for the, the real enthusiast, you get a selection dial on the top, but you also have a thumb wheel, which allows you to change aperture and shutter speed a lot more closely, and again, more direct access buttons. The big thing about this camera that differentiates it from the other two apart from that is the OLED touch screen. So that particularly for focusing, and this is great for macro, you can use your finger to control the focus point. It's just one of the many things it can do. Shown on the camera at the moment is one of the two new prime lenses, and this is something people have been crying out for for the last two years. This is a 12mm f2, classic 24mm format in 35mm terms, which is great for street photography. And one of the neat things they've done with it is to put a snap focus uh, ring on it so that you can pull back and focus manually like that rather than relying on autofocus, which is something a lot of people prefer. Very quick to do. If you want the camera classic and clean like this, you can have it. If you prefer to have a grip, you can put one on and it plugs in and screws on the side. And there are ones with slightly different thicknesses for people who prefer either a small grip or slightly more substantial if they've got particularly big fingers. Now, the point of the system camera, as you know, but for the benefit of anyone watching for the first time, is that you can change the lenses. So if we take the light model here, this is the standard lens, and there's the mini easy to take the lens off, change it to a new one, and there we go. And this is something that compact users won't be used to, but it's what gives the whole thing its flexibility. And what we've discovered is that the compact users are the ones who are migrating up to compact system. Yeah. People are buying them who've got SLRs, and we talked about that I think last time we did this, but a lot of people are looking at them as an alternative to a compact. And this is where the Mini is really aimed. People are moving up from, from the compact side. So you'll see it's quite small and it's got the same sort of uh, function control on the back as a compact camera would. So it's not intimidating. But once you're confident, you can still change the lenses. OK, 
Okay, uh, thanks for that, Mark. Have you got any ideas when we would like to see these in the shops? Sure. The first one we'll see is the P3, which we expect sometime early August, okay. uh, shipping into Europe, so that should get into shop, shops pretty quickly. The other two will follow in succession, so this will be slightly afterwards and that's slightly after that, sometime late summer, sometime early autumn.